welcome to Obritech Mechatronic. Today we have um, another ECU. This is Ford um, Botch ECU. This is made um, G17.0. And we are going to clone the ECU. This is the old one. And we are going to read this data, this data and write it to this one. And today's job, um, probably some of these ECUs you need to do it on bench, others you need to do on boot mode. So, um, without much ado, I have already opened the software. So, we go by clicking on ECU, then we go on Ford as we have seen over here. Then we click on, um, let's go. Um, uh, we are looking for a botch. I'm zooming in so that you can see it very well. Looking for botch. Um, there is a 17.0. Then we click on bench or boot mode um then click on next then we click on wiring diagram to see our wiring this is the ecu now this type of processor is different from the one let me open it over to see I have already opened the board. So, this this processor is different from this processor. This is the processor is different from the one over here. So we are not going to use this type because it it can it will not it, it will not read it or it cannot it won't be able to read it. So we are going to choose seventeen point zero point one and see. Then we click on boot. Then we click on wiring diagram. We screw down. Same, same. So we close it. We go back. We screw down a bit more. No. Um, let me check from this one and see. Okay. Yeah. I guess it's this one. G seventeen point zero this one then we click on next we click on we are in diagram diagram sorry this is our wiring diagram over there as you can see the processor over here is the same as this one as this one so um we check the diagram the wiring diagram over there then we compare it over here as you can see it's the same um where is the yellow pin this is it so then, then fix the yellow one which is the can high over here then, um, then let me oh board. um sorry um let me get it fixed then I'll go. pin has been connected and we are going to connect our boot mode pin um this is it as you can see that is it so we hold it over here uh, i'm sorry for shaking the camera because i'm the only person over here trying to you know uh, so um trying to 
boost like this thing back. Then, um, then we click on apron. On apron, then I click on read to see whether we will have a good communication. Yes, as you can see, we have a good communication. That means um, the board has been read, as you can see. So, um, desktop. Um, Ford. I've already created um, a folder. Then. Name it Eprom. So um, what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to um, uh, I'm going to click on full backup to do a full backup of this ECU. So it's reading the internal flash as you can see the internal flash is being read over here um, oh sorry I need to show you from this session so that is the connection right, that's where the boot the uh, boot is that's my boot pin you know someone may ask why are you not using um, a frame to do it um, um, I have a frame but my frame got um, spot so um, usually don't use the frame anymore unless I I'm using um, flex so th this video is for people who uses a uh, SDAC to do this kind of job you know um has SDAC will not allow you to read it on bench only on boot mode because i try um, so many times to you know do it by um, bench it couldn't read so i decided to go by boot mode that's when i realized started communicating so that is it let me wow. pause it's about to we are done as we as you can see it has been completed and so um i have to leave it set this one aside then um save it have to save it So that is how um, we, we go by in reading, um, what do you call the ECU. So I'm going to clone this one. So I have to take this thing off and, you know, transfer them onto this session, which is the socket, um, the, the wire harness. I have to take this one off first um take the pins out is everything has been connected on the new one so um, i'm trying to see if i will have a good communication um, there it goes so I will just click on save then go straight to you know um, restore data because there will be no need for me to you know um, back up that data because I won't use it for anything so we click on restore we click on open backup then we open it 
and everything will start to resume then read write the flash and everything so it's still initializing praying that the um, I don't have any issue with it so, since it gave us a good communication no response from ECU probably there's a problem so let me see it's not from this session check um, please check where you are. Um, maybe one of the harness is having issues um, um, clicking on restore again is writing sometimes I don't want my videos to be long but um, I don't have a choice um, let me pause here or let me hold on from this session so when it is about to finish, then I'll continue from there. It's speeding up. I don't know if it will finish us. I am expecting it or... So we are 50, 60 percent down over here. Um, still communicating. Um, holding on to it. It's right in sector 27. right in sector 27 so now you're raising sector 28 still on it um We are done. Thank you for watching. I'm taking my this thing out. Oh, thank you for watching. Appreciate you.